are turning to an issue that may be on the rise, melatonin poisoning. And here to talk about this issue and how to use this supplement safely, Anna Marie Frank, doctor of traditional neuropathy and owner of Happy Whole You. Anna, thanks for coming in, we appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. This was a very surprising thing that right. was brought to my attention. And, and you know, it's, I, it's everywhere now. I feel like you hear about everybody taking melatonin. It's in gummy vitamins, you can give it to kids. Um, tell us a little bit about what is melatonin and when is it good to use, when is it not? So melatonin is, a hormone and it's going to impact all your other hormones and personally I feel that it should never be given to children unless it's the very very last resort. When is it safe uh, to give to children? I think if you've exhausted all of your other mm -hmm. options out there we know we forget that getting vigorous exercise every day sunshine in the morning and in the afternoon, putting your bare feet in the grass to reset. We have this thing called a circadian rhythm, it's your internal clock. Mm -hmm. And when that is not set, then we have trouble sleeping. Um, and then also a dark, cool room. Um, there's just some basic things, no electronics two hours before bed. Wow. There was a study that actually just came out that showed you know, the issues with children using electronics over an hour a day and how that disrupts their sleep. So you know, we're looking at melatonin, but are we using melatonin? melatonin because there's other things going on and so I think we just need to really take a step back and look at all lifestyle changes that we might need to make. You hear th that it's a natural supplement so you think there's no harm but I would think that over time are you becoming dependent on it? Um, are you growing kind of immune to it and needing a higher and higher dosage? Does that happen? Absolutely. I mean your body, you're literally putting in a hormone and your body's going to stop producing it how it should and so it's just vital that you really look at the foods that you're eating, you know, how are you managing your stress? Because the higher our levels of stress, the higher our levels of cortisol throughout the entire day, that actually suppresses our melatonin hormone. So naturally during the day, your cortisol should start going down and your melatonin should start going up. But if you're living a high stressful life, then your melatonin is not able to peak when it's supposed to, and that okay. will disrupt your sleep. And what are some symptoms that people should look out for if they are using melatonin of melatonin poisoning? They could get nausea, they could be vomiting, they could have issues with their blood pressure going up and down, and they just will not feel well. So it's it's important to really check in with yourself. Say I do have a stressful job and you know I work until five or six at night in this stressful environment. How can you then kind of do some other things to combat that and get yourself into a relaxed mode when it's time to go to sleep so that you don't need a supplement like this? read before bed. Okay. Remember when we used to do that? Bedtime stories for the children, sit down and read. Also, when you get a break, go outside, get some sunshine. You know, you come back into the studio and then as you're leaving, get outside and get some sunshine again. Okay. And you know, just really working on managing that stress is ideal and it looks different for every person. Okay, and again, starting these habits young in children so that yes. they uh, have those that last them and they aren't dependent on something external that they need. In in order to get the sleep Correct. they require. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it's important also if you are gonna use a supplement that you get it from a trusted source. Okay. Uh, because it could be the wild, wild west out there. So ordering supplements on Amazon isn't necessarily going to okay. ensure that you're getting a safe product. Okay, absolutely. And then wash your dosage as well, especially if you are giving it to children. Absolutely. And if you get a liquid multi or a liquid melatonin, you wanna make sure you shake the bottle oh, because okay. things can settle. Makes and sense. so you wanna make sure that you shake the bottle and um, that way the dosage is proper and follow the instructions yeah. on the label. All right, and always keep those things out of reach of kids as well. Absolutely. Anna Marie Frank, thank you for coming in. Thank we you. appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be right back.